When you're buying property, one of or the principal job of your solicitor is to ensure to get good marketable title. There's a couple of things you need to understand about title. One, there is two principal concepts to do with title. One is good title and one is good marketable title. So good title would be a person owning a property and being able to prove clearly that they are the owner. In other words, that they have good title to the property and can sell the property. So that's good title. However, a person could have good title to a property, but the solicitor acting for the purchaser may be concerned about good marketable title. And the reason for that is the property that's being sold may have, for example, problems to do with planning. And if there's problems to do with planning, for example, unauthorised development carried out with no planning permission and no certificates of compliance, then the vendor has good title but doesn't have good marketable title because from the solicitor's perspective, the solicitor acting for the purchaser, the property is not marketable insofar as it would be very difficult to sell if the bank ever had to foreclose or repossess the property simply because of the planning problems. So the solicitor acting for the purchaser will give an undertaking, a solicitor's undertaking, to the lender to get good marketable title. And the reason that the bank wants good marketable title is because they are lending money on foot of or on the security of the premises of the property. And if it's not marketable, if they have to repossess the property and are unable to sell it, well then it's not much good to them. So good title for a bank, where there's a bank involved, where there's a mortgage involved, is not sufficient. Good marketable title is what's needed. And so solicitor giving an undertaking must get good marketable title and he or she is concerned about ensuring that good marketable title is obtained because that would be the basis of the solicitor's undertaking to the lender. There's another aspect to this and that is if there is some imperfection or infirmity with the title, the solicitor then acting for the purchaser may well uh, write to the bank, write to the lender and ask the lender to agree to a qualification to the solicitor's undertaking to the extent of the imperfection or infirmity. And finally, there's one further aspect of it, and that is the vendor or the vendor solicitor must make and show good title. So if there's a problem, if there's an issue, well then it's up to the solicitor for the vendor or the vendor to sort it out quite frankly and ensure that they are offering good title to the satisfaction of the purchaser and the purchaser's solicitor. And if you're a buyer, then you need to be careful that you're not running around like a blue arse fly, quite frankly, trying to solve a problem that's not actually your problem. It's the vendor's problem, the vendor solicitor their problem. They must sort it out because they must make and prove and show good title. Hope you find this useful. If you do, I'd appreciate if you gave it the thumbs up down below if you're watching on YouTube and if you are listening to my podcast, the Irish Law and Small Business Podcast on Spotify or iTunes or wherever you might listen to podcasts, I'd appreciate if you left a review. Thanks a lot.